Sumo wrestling is about the giant. Massive men meet on the dojo and smash into each other with massive force. It's not a place for small men. Normal small men, at least. Since the beginning of Sumo, there has always been a small Rikishi who defies the odds. From Inho to Takanoyama, the small man is always a fan favorite. Maino Yumi is another such small sumo wrestler that we are going to go over today. Let's be honest, small Rikishi are the most fun. In a sport where size matters, the small wrestler goes against the grain and finds alternative, more technically savvy ways to topple men two and three times their size. Their speed and the use of leverage gives them unique advantages and should they master these things, those advantages can take them very far in the sport not designed for their success. Mino Yumi lived off of said techniques at quote only 98 kilos which is 216 American pounds. Mino Yumi achieved a career high rank of Komasubi in September of 1994. He was active from May 1990 to November 1999. He was nicknamed Waza no Dipato, sorry for my terrible Japanese, but that translates to the Department Store of Techniques, which is really awesome. In his career, he used 33 different finishing methods. His most impressive win, one I'm going to work on for another Just Another Sumo Breakdown episode, was his win over Aki Bono when he won by Triple Attack Force Out. No spoiling that one, we've got to save that for the next video. Today we are looking at the aforementioned Mino Yumi as he took on Kyo Kodazan, another smaller Rikishi, and how Mino Yumi used the switching of leverage points in his legs to notch an impressive win. In the bout with Kyokuro Zan, we see Mino Yumi using odd tachi eye tactics. Instead of meeting Kyokuro Zan in the middle, Mino Yumi steps forward with his left leg and lets his foe come to him. Instantly, Kyokuro Zan goes to control the squirrely Mino Yumi by grabbing the belt. Wise of this, Mino Yumi gets the overhook and controls the left arm of Kyo Kodozan. As Kyo Kodozan reaches for the Mawashi, that's the belt for my non-sumo friends, Mino Yumi pulls up on the arm to prevent his opponent from getting an advantageous grip. Next, Kyo Kodozan goes for what is essentially an Uchimata in Judo. He goes to toss Mino Yumi over his leg to get the win. Unfortunately, Mino Yumi is wise to this and sees the attack coming. Kyo Kurozan does not get his leg in front of Mino Yumi for the trip either, allowing Mino Yumi to stay up. Mino Yumi, if you'll notice, uses this a moment to get a grip on Kyo Kurozan's belt for himself, a tool he will use to get the win later on in the match. You will also notice on the failed attack by Kyo Kurozan, Mino Yumi has the opportunity to throw his opponent in the same manner. Kyo Kurozan does a good job of stepping forward and keeping his balance here. Mino Yumi resets here and backs out of the attack and prepares for another. He kept his grip on the Mawashi, but Kyo Kurozan has his arm on the right bicep of Mayanumi, preventing him from grabbing the belt with his other hand. Mino Yumi will have all of this accounted for and decides on his point of attack. At the start, he has his right foot forward. He will step forward and through Kiyokuruzan and around his lead leg. His left hand firmly gripped on the Mawashi and his right hand prevented from grabbing, Mino Yumi will use the tools he has available to get the win. The leg he stepped through with will be the fulcrum to fall Kiyokuruzan. His left hand which is on the Mawashi, will be used in tandem with his right hand, which he uses to push the chest of his opponent over his leg and to the ground, notching yet another spectacular win. With the skills of Mino Yumi, he's one of the most entertaining Rikishi in the history of the sport to watch from a technical standpoint. It's absolutely worth the watch to see him in action in his past matches, and I suggest you do so. Thanks for watching.